2019, September 2019, I attempted it. So you have to reach, there's certain cutoffs that they have and I didn't make one of their cutoffs, so I didn't finish it. Um, but yes, they literally had to pull me off of the course after nine hours. Cause you weren't giving up on your own. No, no, I was, oh, I'm going to keep going. Like the plan yeah. was, I try and I tried my hardest. Like I'm not the fastest person in the world and I don't pretend to be for me again, the obstacle races are about the obstacles, but I said, you know what? I, I, I have to try one ultra just to, just to say I did it, just yeah. to say I tried it. Yeah. So I went out and I, I tried the ultra beast and yeah, like I said, after nine hours, I missed the cutoff by like 20 or 30 minutes. It wasn't even like, like I was close. Like you yeah. could hear the speaker and I was like, I was, you know, for nine hours I was hustling, which looks like this. <laughs> but um you know i was i was given her like i i was proud of my effort and you know i had my coaches you know i trained a lot i picked up my training with one academy and i actually was there at 5 15 in the morning almost every morning and just wow. you know is there ready. something you would do different if you had to do it again like what would you do yeah, that's the thing i don't i don't think there's anything i would do different um like i made the time commitment i i worked on my nutrition i worked on um yeah, I was training for it. Like I, you know, I moved, I scheduled things around training for this race. So like I made mm-hmm. it a top priority. I don't think there's like that. And that's, I think what made me feel good about it. Sure. I didn't finish it, but I gave it what I got. I didn't yeah. have, you know, I, it wasn't like, Oh, it's August. I should start training for this race in September. No, like, <laughs> no, I, I like my coaches, Leo and Sam, I told them the September before, I'm like, we have one year. I'm like we're starting now. I'm going for it. Like I, I, I purchased the actual race in December for the following September. I was like, we're starting September. We're going a full year, you know, and, and they helped push me through it. And they, you know, like everything down to like, even because again, you're on the course for nine hours, you have to, and this is something I'm not used to is packing food to keep it going racing right uh yeah. so i mean even everything down to that they had me you know this is oh yeah they they told me what to pack how often it, you know all that stuff and i don't think i could have done anything maybe you know maybe in a few years i might be able to do that maybe i can be faster i don't know but for me at that time i don't think there's anything i could have done different i was is, is that what it is speed? Like, what's that is that what yeah, it is like, like the speed yeah like i mean it all depends it's speed and endurance, right? Like it's, it's, you only have, we had from six, I don't remember if it was six or six fifteen in the morning. And I think the cutoff was 3 PM for that first half. And this was the first half. So if you made it past the first half before 3 PM, you keep going, you do the second half. Um, but yeah, like, I think I got there like at three 30, it was just, it was close and it just, uh-huh. yeah. So it could have been one of those things if I was a little faster, um, I'm trying to think about the obstacles too. Cause it was, I remember it was a colder day. We went to Vermont. We had this beautiful September day. It was like 16 degrees when we got there. Just like beautiful Friday. The race was Saturday rained all day. It was probably like one or two degrees. It was like cold. Oh man. And then Sunday was this other beautiful 16 degree sunny. It was you just the like, worst day of the three. <laughs> Yeah, we know we know where you're gonna be. Yeah. So yeah, that that was. Um, but again, it was a hell of an experience. It's something you know I'll always have. Um, I tried it. I'm not a distance guy. I'm a more you know when it comes to the Spartans, I'm more the sprint super. So the five ten ks. Yeah, like that's more my. Why I have more of those medals than the uh, the the beasts or the ultra beasts? That's that would probably be you know, my I've done a few. Of if I yeah that, yeah yeah like I know some people like someone like Jesse, but you know he he gets faster as he he goes for a longer distance he gets really you know, and I'm not like that I'm just not built like that like I know I don't go all out at the beginning but I know when I'm, it's usually yeah. around five and that really speaks to your point we said before like you gotta know yourself know what you're capable of know what your skill set is and really play yeah. to that because that's how you're going to be able to to be successful so you know that you're a short 
a short sprinter guy, and that's what you want. You're going to excel at compared to, I think it's a Jesse, which we are a long distance person. Yeah, exactly. I mean, Jesse, Jesse's won many of these races. He's got like, you know, he's I, trying to think like, I, you know, he even tried for, for a few Ironmans and things like that. Like he's trained for all sorts of, and like, and that's his thing. Right. And then he kills it. And I don't, I don't think I know anyone who's been able to put themselves in the kind of pain that he can put himself through and just keep going. Yeah. It's, it's, it's amazing. So, um, I know for me, like my body goes to a certain point and then when it's done, it's done. It's I'll try to keep going, but it's done. That's fair. Yeah. Now, now going back to, you said Spartan race is probably one of the, the preferred, right? Cause they have the, the different distances. Are there any other races that you might recommend them starting with? Like I, I would never think to start with a tough mudder in my personal opinion, but of mm-hmm. course, you know, more than this than I do. Uh, are there any other ones that they might be able to start with? Well, the funny part is a lot of people do start with the Tough Mudder, which it makes me laugh in a way because in a way we did start with the Tough Mudder, um, 2012, but that was kind of like our end goal. So we did, uh, it doesn't exist anymore, this race called Warrior Dash, which was a nice That race. was a cool one. I did that. that yeah, exactly. That was, that was fun. It was that for us, that was a great, like I told anyone, if you're going to start, do that one first. Like that was a really good beginner one. Um, Rugged Maniac's another good one that, uh, that's really good for if you've never done it before. Rugged Maniac, and I'm trying to remember, I'm trying to find the medal. I can't think of the name right now. But if I'm like, if I see the medal, I'll be like, this is what it was. But I can't think of the name right now. But Rugged Maniac was another really good, fun. Like at the beginning, like if it's your first race, you want to have fun, right? You want to. Yes. Yes. Exactly. If this is something you're going to start doing. Yeah, and then make it more competitive and more competitive, and work your way to Spartans and. So that. someone's starting rugged maniac is good or the sprint version of the spartan those yeah, are the top, those are top two recommendations two that i would definitely recommend um going into an open heat um because with open heat, so how spartan works is a lot of the exercise obstacles not exercises i'm getting used to this pandemic life um a lot of the obstacles you have one attempt and if you don't do that attempt it's 30 burpees so the good thing about the open heat is if you're with a group of friends, you can help each other. Whereas if you're in a competitive heat, no you're on your own. <laughs> like, yeah. you know, this is, you you can't get help, but if you're in open heat, they're a little more lenient on, okay. Yeah. You guys can, cause you're in the open, right? Like it makes sense with the competitive heats, you could win money or you can win things. Right. So, I mean, mm-hmm. you want to be, and they're really big on being fair and, you know, they, they, they don't take things like cheating lightly and all that stuff, mm-hmm. which is really good to see. Um, but yeah, at least with the open heat, you can go with your buddies, have a good time. It's about five to seven K, mm. you know, not that you're going to be like, oh, the whole time. Cause you're still going to work. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. I'm just trying to remember what that other one is called. Um, there's <laughs> another one I'll just look right here. This one's only in the States. So it's called Savage Race. That was probably the most fun race I've ever had. Um, and these were 10 kilometer distances. These weren't, these weren't the five Ks. So these ones were a little tougher, not, uh, you know. Tough Mudder is about, I think it's like 11 or 12 miles. So it's like about 18K or something like that. Um, but yeah, Savage Race was a really fun, it was another really fun one. Again, a little more intermediate than beginner, but that was another one that I really had a blast with just seeing yeah, the medals there. I'm like, oh yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah, those are probably my favorite. <laughs>